Hello class, the last time I posted a video on how much I made from 10,000 views on YouTube Shorts and I promised to upload Shorts for 30 days straight and present my results. So in this video, I would explain the strategies I used to consistently post YouTube Shorts for 30 days because you know it's not easy. I would also inform you on how many subscribers I got at the end of the 30 days, how many views I got and how much I made as well as explain to you the things I noticed along the journey. So stay with me and do not skip any part of this video because you're going to learn a lot. So now let's get to it. Since YouTube introduced related videos where you can link your short videos to your long form videos, I saw it as an opportunity to promote my long form videos and that was why I decided to start posting on YouTube shorts. Initially, I wasn't interested in posting on YouTube shorts because you can't put links and it, I'm not even getting views on it plus it's not even paying me anything. So to me, I just considered it a waste of time and space because nobody was watching it and even even if they were I wasn't making any money so it was not mutually beneficial but now that there is related videos I decided okay now this is an opportunity so I started watching YouTube shorts to you know understand what works because I don't understand the dynamics of YouTube shorts and what I notice now is that people treat it as a different platform from the main channel like of course you would see the main theme of the channel the brand color and all that but like it is di it's totally different it's treated differently it's more fast-paced you need to get your point on time it's not as detailed so i decided to change what i was posting on youtube shorts initially i used to just take my long form videos and like break it down into smaller pieces or just summarize it into one and it was not working i was not getting as much views so i decided to start posting relatable content that other content creators would like to watch because creators are my target audience most of my videos are about content creation editing apps and all that stuff so my target audience would obviously be content creators especially the beginners i decided to start making relatable content that other youtubers can understand and relate to i knew that consistency would be a problem and to make it easier for myself i decided to treat it like i would treat tiktok usually with tiktok you can use the same sounds to make multiple contents or you use the same video clip to make multiple contents but you can just change the sound or change the caption and that was what i did and i would batch create for like a week so for example if i have to post um in a week i would have to post seven videos so i would choose a day to make seven content so i will choose the audio sound i want to use and the captions i want to use i'll basically draft out everything and i dedicated one day to create the content i would be posting for the next seven days i picked out the sound i picked out the captions and everything i want to put in it and then i created so sometimes i would use the same sound for to make like three videos on the bottom page you were good, I'm waiting for you to be great. And next, Kendall. I use the same sound but different topics and different caption or sometimes i'll use the same video clip to make three videos but like change the caption or change the sound and it worked i consistently posted for 30 days straight and here is the result so i got a total of 46 subscribers and 25,000 views and made a total of two euros 10 cents from youtube shorts for 30 days yeah, I, I know you shouldn't be surprised. If you watch my previous videos of how much I made for 10,000 views on shorts, you would understand why I made such a low amount and you will understand how the YouTube short revenue works. I, I explained in details in that video, so I'm not going to be explaining it here. I would link it in the description box and also on the cards here if you're interested in it. Another thing I noticed is that the videos with me on it got more views than the videos where I summarized a long form content into a short form content. I mean, YouTube Shorts is giving major TikTok energy. People are usually scrolling through Shorts, not because they want to learn anything. I'm pretty sure if anybody wants to learn something, they'll prefer a detailed version of that thing. So most people are just looking for a quick dopamine hit. They're just looking to be entertained or to be inspired or something like that. So I get why the tutorials get less views. I used to complain about it, but now I get it. So the one video where I changed the color of the text got less views to the other videos. It was probably a one-time mistake, but I wasn't willing to test it. So I just went back to using a, a black text on a white border. I was getting on average 400 views per YouTube shot. With YouTube shots, it's not like long form videos where there is still hope that you will get more views. If you don't get views, for the next two days of posting that shot most likely you're not going to get views on that shot again just forget it sometimes when i upload the video i don't get 
views but then when i wake, wake up the next day i see a lot of views and i think people mostly watch shorts in the midnight of my time zone i'm in the netherlands sometimes your video is not getting views not because of you but because youtube did not recommend the video so sometimes when i check my analytics and see that youtube did not show my video in the short feed i re-upload that same video again at a different time and when i do this i usually see more views for example with this video the first day i uploaded it i got less than 100 views and then i re-uploaded it again and the next time i uploaded the same video the same sound the same text the same everything I got 10,000 views. So basically, sometimes it's not that your content is bad. It's just that you up, you probably uploaded it at the wrong time or YouTube, it just wasn't flowing with the algorithm. Sometimes the algorithm be the enemy. So sometimes test it. I also did that. There was another video where I did not get as much views. But then I checked my analytics and saw that YouTube showed it on the short feed, but it's just that people were just not willing to click on it. And to test it for that, I re-uploaded that video again and it was the same number of views. So obviously people just didn't like that content and that's fine. But if you notice that YouTube short did not really push your video, it's better to re-upload it again at a different time to see if it's the algorithm or your content is just bad. You know, this is the experimental phase. So, and last of all, there was no significant increase in the number of views I got from long-form content if not it actually decreased <laughs> like it did not help in any way shape or form and that was the main reason I started uploading on shorts so of course I got a few number of subscribers and some views and a little bit of cash but the main purpose was not was not fulfilled so now would I continue posting YouTube shorts yes i would but not in my, this channel but in my second channel because i have another channel where i post more interesting content about the netherlands i'm currently in the netherlands and people are interested in what's going on in this country so i'll be posting more short form content there because i don't have enough subscribers there and i'm trying to grow the channel so it makes sense for me to invest there i may continue posting here but i don't think I don't I, w I don't think I'll be as consistent because there is no incentive to do it I'm not really trying to get more subscribers I mean it's a nice to have but with YouTube of today once you cross 1,000 subscribers it, it no longer matters as long as you're monetized your number of subscribers don't really affect your number of views honestly I'm seeing a lot of I don't understand it but maybe since short form videos became a thing the number of views on long form content decreased and so many content creators are complaining about this so it's not just me even big content creators that have up to 100,000 subscribers 1 million subscribers their number of views are significantly decreased anyways go and subscribe to my second channel and i will see you in my next video bye